everyone and welcome to another tying session. This time we're going to have a look at the Game Changer, a multi-articulated fly. Uh, it's a deadly fly for pike, I really like it. So here we go. For this we're going to tie it with two hooks. A little trailer hook, usually I like a size 4 to a size 2. For the tail I like to use um, the hen cape, a uh, saddle part. Just use uh, four feathers, so like that. If the pike managed to cut a few off, you still have something left. It's a time-consuming fly uh, to tie, so you want to make it solid and it'll last many pikes. To finish off the, the tail, um, I use two feathers side by side and just palmer them around the rest of the shank of the hook. You can use many types of tails. Um, you can make them yourself with synthetic chamois leather, uh, like wave tails, double tails. I don't really like using wiggle tails on them because it kind of kills the action of the fly. It, it's like a break at the back. So for me, wiggle tails are a no-no for, for game changers. But it's up to you to experience and uh, experiment with different types of tails. Now for the shanks, um, I like to make my own shanks, you can check my my videos, I, I made a couple of videos on how to make your own shanks, that will save you a lot of money and you can customize them to exactly the size that you want. For the game changers I like to use about uh, 4 to up to 7 sections, it depends on the movement and the size of the fly. So this one we're going to do a 7 section. And I like to use for the first few shanks uh, 10 mil shanks, and then you can walk up to 15 mil and up to 25 mil for the last shank. Now, the easiest way to make a game changer, to tell you a game changer, is to definitely um, use a, a brush. Uh, I like to make my own brushes simply because it just costs you a lot less money. These ones are made with uh, Kenny Callon hair mixed with Congo hair and a bit of Angelina hair. When you wrap your brush around the shank, make sure that all the fibers are nice and neat and that you don't get too many fibers tangled while you do the wrapping process. To finish off each shank, I like to use um, some uh, UV re resin, simply for the fact that uh, it'll give you a sturdy finish this is an articulated fly, a lot of movement, and you don't want the thread at the end, the whip finish, to, to give way and your fly to start to unravel. So a nice little coating of UV resin, use your favorite brand for that, and you'll have a more durable fly. And now all you have to do is repeat the process. So keep going with a 10 mil shank or 15 mil shank if you want to step it up. I like to use about two to three 10 mil shanks and then two to three 15 mil and finish off with uh, one to two 25 mil shank for the end of the, the, the tail. To come back to the to the brushes, these ones and they are homemade, and I use a 0.2 mil stainless steel wire.
Now this is the fourth shank. So now I'm stepping it up to a slightly longer shank. I'll go up to 20 to 25 mil now. You can tie many types of different game changers, you can tie them with different materials. Um, obviously the synthetics is the easiest way to go, but uh, if you fish shallow waters, maybe spending time to tie a bucktail game changer would be a good, a good option to have because of the slow sink action it will give to the fly. Now that's the tail finished, uh, you get all your section together. Now it's time to hook it up to the hook. Choice of hook is important, as you see on in this video I'm using a 3 knot Kona big game carnivore hook. It's uh, just what I had for the purpose of the video, but normally I would use a 6 to 8 zero hook just to give you some weight and to get a good kill on the on the fly so it doesn't start spinning around and it, you, you just get a good straight swim. To connect the, the tail to the hook I use my own shank as well which is a simple straight wire with an R loop at the back. Put the fly into the R loop and secure the straight shank to the to the shank of the hook. Using this technique, I, I never had um, a fly coming apart. Even on large fish, it really holds really solid. Make sure you wrap it well, and uh, of course use, use a good decent glue on it. Now we arrive nearly at the end of the fly, so the last uh, wrapping of brush, you don't want to go all the way to the top of the hook, to the eye of the hook, you want to leave some room to, to finish and to make the head. Of course if you want you can finish off the fly straight up to the top with, with the brush, but if you want something a little bit nicer, you can stop halfway and give you a little bit of room to make uh, a pair of... Uh, Pectoral fins, just use two, two hand feathers. It'll give you a little bit more action and it's a bit nicer to look at. Uh, for the head, you can use your favorite type of dubbing for, for the head. I like to use Congo hair, stacking it up. I made a video on, uh, on the type of fly called the flasher, where I use a lot of that technique of stacking uh, fibers together and then trimming them to, to, to make a good bulky head. Depending on the places that you fish, you probably want to either way leave them slow sink, put as little weight at the front, or if you want to go deeper or have a more jiggy action, you can uh, use dumbbells or larger eyes. It's up to you after to, to tweak and customize the fly up to your needs. Now give your fly a good brush, untangle all these fibers so it's ready to trim. Take your time for trimming. Um, it's better to go slow, take a little bit at a time, than to mess up your fly right at the end.
On this one, I'm just adding some um, teddy bear eyes. These are cheap and cheerful. You find them on eBay. You can buy them per, per hundreds very easily. Uh, just glue them on. It'll give that extra little bit of weight at the front as well because they're kind of bulky eyes. That's it, one game changer. Um, you hardly make a fly with so much movement. I mean, uh, you'll be you'll be well and truly uh, converted once you start to see it uh, moving in the water. It has an action that no other fly really has. Now, thanks for watching this other tying session. Now it's up to you to get creative and experience the, the amazing world of game changers. See you later.